What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you can't tell yet, today is the day we are gonna be rebuilding or starting the rebuild of this transmission. So we got it pulled out, you just saw. We got it on the stand here. So now we just gotta rip it apart and replace all the bearings in it, seals, gaskets, all that good stuff. The main reason I wanted to rebuild this one versus just replacing this transfer case seal which is leaking, or at least the gasket is leaking here. I just wanted to rebuild this one, get all fresh bearings in it because it does have like 300,000 miles on it. So I don't know if it's ever been rebuilt. So I figured for the price of a rebuild kit, it's gonna be well worth it to just go through it right now before I shatter it or before something catastrophic happens just to go through and replace all the bearings. So that is what we're doing today. Now I must say having the lift and this tall tranny jack made pulling that transmission a breeze. So super, super happy with that. Let's get this thing pulled apart. So we gotta pull off the transfer case, pull off the bell housing, and then this main center plate here is where all the gears are held onto this plate. So we'll just take all these bolts off and these two case halves slide off of the main part of that tranny. So really actually very simple to pull apart. Let's get after it, get this thing apart and check out the inside of it. All right, we got the tranny and transfer case separated and you guys probably saw the massive amount of oil that came out of here and well in between the transfer case and tranny which is kind of strange because they are both completely sealed from each other you can see the main oil seal there and then the main oil seal there that's all sealed there shouldn't be any oil between here and here and you can obviously tell the motor mount or the tranny mount bolt holes for the main mount here are drilled straight through. And I actually noticed when I took my mount off, there was oil coming out of these holes. So there's something going on, something leaking. Um, it's probably either that seal or this seal here. I would go through and just say, screw it, rebuild this whole transfer case. I cannot find any freaking rebuild kits or any really parts for this transfer case so i'm going to take the number off that seal and bring it into napa see if i can just replace that seal and i don't really know what else obviously i'll have to pull this cover off so i'll reseal that as well for now i think i'll just replace that seal just because i do think it is the transfer case when i drain the oil out of the transfer case there wasn't much that came out and honestly when you when you look at this you can almost there's a little bit of play in this shaft, which I believe is mostly supported when it engages the splines in the tranny. I don't think this is supposed to be 100% solid, but when you move it around a little bit, you probably can't see it on the camera, but there you can see a little bit of a gap around the edge of that seal. So I think that seal may be the culprit. So I'm gonna see if I can find that seal, but for now, let's get this tranny stripped apart. What we gotta do, pull this front cover off. There's some clips in there holding the shafts into this cover. Then we can pull the shifter tower off here, pull all these bolts off around the main plate and then both case halves slide off. And then you just gotta kinda, there's a bolt under here I believe. I believe that's bolted on the main shaft here. The little end of it is bolted on that shaft. So you gotta take that bolt out and then we can slide the case halves off of that main plate in the center.
There we go guys, got this thing completely stripped down. So now we just gotta swap these bearings out. So we got input bearing here. This whole shaft actually comes apart like that. And then there's actually a bearing inside of there. So that main bearing there, that's a pretty easy press here. This one back here is a little tougher. I think we have to press this whole gear off because obviously you can't get back in there with nothing to press that off. And then this one here, there's a clip. I can't remember what I did the last on the last training. I don't remember if I took this whole gear off or if I was able to get something back there. Both screw around with it, get all these bearings off. And then once the new kit shows up, then we can put it all back together with new bearings, all that good stuff. Also, I did buy, ended up buying a new seal for that. I just bought an OEM one from Toyota. So once that seal comes in, we'll pull that cover off the, uh, so I'm talking about the front of the transfer case here, that seal there, I wanna replace. I don't think anything else in that transfer case is really bad, it feels really, really good. So I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. I think I'm just gonna pull this cover off, replace that seal and call it a day on that. All right, we got everything cleaned up, looking really good. There's still a little bit of corrosion and whatnot on the cases, but not too extremely worried about that. Got these shift forks and rods real nice and clean. Those are gonna move a lot smoother and a lot better. So what I'm gonna get after now is I wanna get some paint on these rusted spots here, this cast steel. So I just got some Pour 15. I'm going to brush on just just do a light coat on that edge there where it's rusty and then on that just one light coat will be just fine one quick tip I got for you guys with this pour 15 if you ever take this lid off and dump it out and get any of the product on this edge you will never ever get that lid off again what I do is I flip it over and I take these roofing screws here with the uh, you can see they got the seal on them. I'll put one there and I'll put one there. And then when I need some product, when I need some 415, take the screws out, you dump it out, and then you put the screws back in. It seals it back up. Well, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. Like I said, once we get those bearings in, we can go ahead and swap them all out. We are gonna have to press them all. They're all pressed on the shaft, so we gotta get in the press. I do have all the tools that I used from the last tranny I rebuilt. If you guys remember, I had to make a few tools, so I still have those. So pressing this stuff on and off should be a breeze. I would get all these bearings pressed off right now, but I kinda wanna swap the bearings one at a time just to make sure everything goes back on like it should so I don't forget which way a bearing went or whatever. I'd rather just swap it out at the same time. So that's a game plan. Once we get the bearings in, we'll go through, replace all the bearings, get this trendy back together. And also one thing I wanted to talk about real quick. I think I found the reason why there was oil in this cavity here between the tranny and transfer case. So the truck I pulled this tranny from was rolled and it was sitting on its top for a while. And I think what happened was, you can see this hole right there is a vent. That tube ran from there over to this tube here, 
which goes up into the shift tower for the transfer case. But this is connected directly into the main internals of the transfer case. There is oil in this. Actually, when I pulled this thing off, when I pulled this hose off, oil came out of it. So I think that is what happened. Oil just ran when this truck was rolled, sitting upside down, oil just ran through this tube and filled up that internal cavity between here and the tranny. So that being said, I'm not too worried about these seals and figuring out exactly what happened because I'm pretty sure that is what happened. I still am gonna replace that seal. Obviously, all the seals in the tranny are gonna be brand new as well too. So I shouldn't have any issues, but that's one thing I thought of last night is it's probably just filled up oil through here when the truck was rolled. So pretty sure all my seals are still good, but like I said, we're gonna replace them all. Well, that's a wrap guys. Definitely stay tuned on the channel for the next video. We get this tranny all back together, get it back in the truck and my ECU has shipped back. So by the time we get this tranny back in the truck, we should have the ECU and we can fire this thing up or at least attempt to. So really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.